get some pink sprayers. Let's get some pink sprayers. You know, they's doing flag football now at four years old. Yo, speaking of football, so what's your take on your boy, Cam Newton, and the Carolina Panthers? Uh, to me, that I, you know, I ain't a Panthers fan, but they trash. Yeah. So, what do you think about his um his dance when they when they come out the handshake, the pound pound? Uh. Oh, I ain't seen that. Oh man, it's gay <laughs> as fuck, yo. It's gay as fuck. And then after he humps each player, he they yell out, "Keep pounding!" I'm like, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. But what are at, we doing here? Look at look at the scars that he putting on. <laughs> I, yeah, the clothes is crazy. He's his dress. I don't know what to say about the Carolina Panthers. They're looking like the Pussycat Dolls. Carolina Pussycat Dolls. They're looking bad out there, man. Yeah, yo, it's just it's fucking unreal. Uh, the sports is going crazy with the new Antonio Brown thing. Yeah, that's because he went to the to the team, to the Patriots. Patriots. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they got this new um, sex. Allegations against him? Uh, I guess uh, Antonio Brown, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, what do you think about that? Uh, yeah, you know, it's like it was bound for something to happen. After he signed a new England, yeah, it was I think, bound for something to happen. I think once you reach a part of success, they always look to bring you down some way, somehow. They yeah. always look for something, especially black men out here, and that's why we gotta stay protected. We gotta watch ourselves because they're always looking for a reason or a way to take us down. Um, yeah, because I mean, crazy. you know, I didn't think it was gonna go all smooth, but it was like so fast though. Um, it happened so fast. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's what bugged me up. The fact that it happened so fast like that. Basically goddamn overnight, right? Yeah, I, I, shit, it was actually in a few hours. Shit, it was in a few hours, like. Overnight, it's pit. That's it was good with you, man. Yeah. yeah, it happened overnight, so, you know, um, shit. And that's how the game go. You can never be too comfortable, because once you get in these positions, you're now that target target, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I mean, he called for that, too, though. He's it, been it, calling for anything it. Anything he about to get right now, he called for it. He's been, it's been like that, but I don't feel... Some of this should be true or justifiable. Yeah. But it is what it is. They got these new allegations against my man Hove as well. About uh, um BJ Sanders that used to play in the NFL, uh supposedly had a these are allegations uh sexual relationship with my man Hove. They were supposed to be sharing this apartment and splitting bills and wearing each other's clothes and that's they got crazy. some pictures of these guys together. One of the people that worked in the building got some video footage, and he's wearing a whole chain. And I'm like, yo, wait a minute. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <It's a rock. laughs> That'll kill everything. Would it? Yeah, yes, it would. It would. It would kill. I mean, it would kill. Every, it would change. I mean, like, every. what do you mean? What? I mean, what? What in hip hop would that change? That's all, it's already done. His records already president. He's not selling any more records. His label is already the. It, what is? What is it going to really change? So, right now, he the he the person that you go to, basically. For what? Uh, you gotta ask. The these, NFL. You gotta ask these artists out Rod, here. Roger Cadell and them. They did that for a reason. But yeah. no, I ain't talking about the NFL. I'm talking about the artists. Oh, the artists. Because it's mad artists that's managed by Rock Nation or on Rock Nation. Yeah, there's a, so, there's a whole bunch. So, say that all that stuff true. Do you think more people going to go to it? Go, go that way? Of course. They're going to where the bag <laughs> is. And as a matter of fact, they're going to pretend like they don't know or they don't care. They pro and if it's true, they probably already know. Yeah, look, look what happened but to Foxy Brown three years ago when she brought out the book and the allegations against the shit with Hove. You didn't hear shit about that like a couple of days later. You talking about when they was messing around when she was younger or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the, him giving her the chlamydia and all this crazy yeah. shit. You didn't hear nothing about that a couple of days later. It'll get vanished real quick. Um, if you want to be frank, Beyonce was only about 17, 18 when he got to her. Yeah. 
I knew that. Everybody knows. Everybody that. knows. I think everybody knew about the Foxy Brown thing too, so that's probably why it was swept up under the rug like that. You know, so I mean, people always said she looked older when she came when she started rapping. It doesn't matter. But she was younger. You look, I know. I'm saying. Say no, I'm just saying. Yeah. There, it, to all you gentlemen, she was still and ladies, as young as she was. It doesn't matter how old they look; their age is still their fucking age. Right. Please do not pass that R. Kelly shit. Age is just a number. It's not. Shit, crazy man. It's like the was... number you catch when you fucking get caught. Yep. And now they got this new law. So say you got a child molester or a child rapist or something, and he's in jail, especially federal jail. Um, if you touch these motherfuckers or if something happened to them, the accuser or the guilty party receives an additional two and a half years to their sentence. And to me, I'm thinking, what the fuck does a lifer care? Right. You doing life. And this nigga right here is already known for what he's doing. Do you give a fuck about getting another two years? Right. No. That's shit crazy. So, so to make that fucking law was asinine. It was really asinine for Congress to take their time out to even vote to pass that shit. And I was just mad to even fucking hear that they did something like that. And uh, shout out to my man Scam, even though Scam's not with us and he yeah, stopped, yeah. stopped following us. Uh, That's crazy, though. Yeah, Scam, that was some real... Sucker shit. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, shout out to Scam, man. It you actually too, man. showed me what type of pedigree you were cut from. You know, and um Good that's, luck to you, bro. That shit crazy, man. You know what I mean? Hey, we had them jokes though. Yeah. You know, he, he go erase that hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> and I already figured that shit. <laughs> I'm not even gonna call and ask for no old music, no nothing. It is what it is. Who you got lined up this week? I know we got two cheetah zombie in the building. Here. Yeah, we got here. Uh, Showdown two, in the building. Yeah, and uh, C Pit. C Pit. Yeah. All right. C-Pit. Yeah. Yeah. That's the homie, where he at? Yeah, he on yeah, the way. Yeah, he coming oh, yeah. up there. Yeah, he on the way. So look, so who your picks for the for football this this week? I told you already. I told you what type of. Fan I am. The winners, right? Yes, I'm not <laughs> gonna lie. I'm that type of fan. I don't want nobody to think nothing of me like I got a designated team. I got a designated team I like. But far as following and waiting for the next week for it to come down, I might I might look at I might look at Green Bay or something like that. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm a bandwagon. Whoever won the championship next year, you're my favorite team next year. Right. So if Kansas City wins this year, 2001, I'm a Kansas City Chief fan. Patriots don't win this year. Uh, well, then, nah, I, I can't keep being I can't. <laughs> I just can't keep rooting for them motherfuckers. This is, that's enough. Enough is enough. See, enough is enough, man. I am. And they still out there looking like they ain't aging a bit. Tom Brady, man. Out Yo, there. the guy's out phenomenal. There. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> He's phenomenal. He's a great player. Yeah, that problem. And we need some good boxing to come back, right? Ain't no good fights happening. Nah, ain't no good fights. Nah. That, 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 U, that WC, uh, what's, what's that? UFC? MMA? UFC? Yeah. Yeah, I watch that a lot. But other than that, it ain't really kicking. As far as hip hop is concerned, I started fucking with the freestyling dudes more than I fuck with the artists now. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of them battles. Yeah. Yeah. Been Let's talk about that Myrtle Mook shit later. When Tucci's out, we're going to talk about, see how they feel about that out here in these, in these, in these streets. <laughs> and, um, you know. We got the regular situations going on. I'm gonna throw a couple questions out to these people today. Just some absurd off the wall shit. I'm gonna have everybody chill. I got some liquor coming. I think it's a small bottle. I don't know, it's enough for everybody to get a shot, I guess. Pass it. I got a question, man. So look, for anybody in the room, basically. Yeah. So look, so if you you friends with two people, right? Yeah. You met them at the same time. Relationship question. You, yes, you you meet them at the same time. Wait, 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 wait. Relationship question. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying if you and your girl no, met... No, you. All right. You met two people at the same time. Two girl, women? No, nah, girl and dude. They go, uh-huh. they go together. Uh-huh. All right, so do you feel like if you catch somebody doing something wrong... Should you say something? Who would you say something to and would you say something? I mind my fucking business. Of course, definitely. If I, I just met them. Yeah. If right, they so not if they not if they're not close friends or family, yeah, nah, look, I mind my business. Ten years later. I'd say something. Y'all cool, but who would you say something to though? 
who was cheating. It don't matter. If my man was cheating, I'll pull him to the side. If his girl was cheating, I'll tell him. Now, I'm if, not going to tell him my nigga. What if she pulled you to the side first? And if, if the wife pulled me to the side and said she's seen my girl doing something? Nah, I seen, uh, no, what if she, all right, so what if she pulled you to the side and said, yo, I don't know what I want to do, homie cheating, he beating on me, what would you do? I would definitely go holler at my man, ASAP. Now, because they family now. So, yeah, definitely. I'll pull them to the side like, listen. So you wouldn't say nothing to her before uh, before you talk to them? What would your advice be to no, her? No, because she already talked to me once she came and told me <laughs> that my man is doing this, right? I'm not about to sit there and tell her, yo, you should do better. Nah. <laughs> this sounds like some squares. <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm going to say I'm gonna say the easiest shit possible. You all right? And she say, no, I'm not. And I'm going to say, Yo, I'm going to talk to him. Yeah. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> That's it. And, and this is the conversation I'm going to have with my nigga. We're going to be riding. And I'm going to be like, yo, roll that blunt, son. Mm-hmm. He's going to roll that shit. And I'm going to be like, yo, everything good with you and your girl? And he's going to say, yeah, what the fuck? And I'm going to say, all right, cool. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you don't want to get into people's business, though. Don't That's it, bro. Business. I'm not. You're going to be the bad guy. I'm not that nigga. Unless, 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 unless it's like that. Unless it's life threatening. And I know maybe my mans can probably end up in prison. Shorty yeah. might end up dead. If, yeah. if, if it's like that, so be it. Yeah. So be it. I'm going to pull up and, yo, son, you going to come with me. Come, yeah. come stay with me a few days, bro. Let her breathe. You know what I'm saying? Until we figure this out. But if it ain't, he cheating. He knocked her up the head. Whatever, she's late coming home. She came home at four and she mad because he thumped her. I ain't got nothing to say about it. <laughs> yeah, it's your business. I, I, what time you came home? Yeah, that's that's your, yeah that's your business. What the fuck did you do? You know, so what made you say that? You going to do that? Nah. Oh, okay, that's one of those. Just, 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 some, that's just a some, topic, though. Yeah, just some shit I came across. Oh, one of those. Past two days, yeah. Wow. I've been going through those situations a lot. Like your homies are coming yeah, to tell you to help the their relationship? You or the shirt of your coming to me and tell me that. I don't be knowing what to do. How do you handle it? To keep it hot. I just be real, bro. I be honest. I don't hold back nothing. Or say if the shorty come to me, talking about her nigga. I am the type to be like, yo, if he doing this, then be smart. If you ain't liking what you seeing, you know what you need to do. If the dude came to me and said the same thing, I'm like, bro, you need to leave her alone, bro. It's 100% honest. I don't, I don't speak facts. So you would give him the same advice? Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, And shout out to Tucci being in the building right now. Let's give yeah, him some man. gunshots. He here. Yeah. Come on, one time. One time, yeah. one time three, 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 six, the underground. Just the home of the underground. Piff Radio, you know what I'm saying? He here. What, what the fuck is my sound effects? Uh, I, need, I, need, I, need, I, need, yeah, I need Yeah, yeah. I need electricity. <laughs> I need a need guy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I just wanted to see how, you know, it was just something I, I came across the past two days. Yeah. But listening to uh, a lot of shit. Tunes, what you got going down, bro? Bro, here promoting. Promoting this new. Well, this really ain't new, but I'm dropping it, redoing it again. Nobody ain't never heard of it. It's called uh, Back in the City. Tunes, you seen it? You heard of it? It's an album I, I released about like a month ago. I, I heard a lot of your music. I heard lots of your music. Yeah. And thanks to your brother, like. Three fucking days ago. Oh uh, yeah, I sent it to him, and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck, I man?" To him, and he went crazy. Yeah, yo. Long story short, man, I knew Tunch for a long time, yo. It's good guy, good guy, yo. I wish his family much, much, much success. And uh, yeah. far as I'm concerned, they already made it. You know what I mean? And um, uh, we just gonna vibe today, man. You here with us? We got a couple of more heads coming down. Matter of fact, showdown just text you and Pip. Well, my inbox. Yeah. So um, I guess they trying to find a spot to park and shit like that. You know? I'm out here by myself. I don't got nobody out here. And just knowing, let him come. It, why? Why should I be down? Like, it's, it's gonna go up from here. It's that shit is like going. coming back from the dead. Yeah, it's gonna go up. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing going down from here, and I ain't gonna let it. So Bro, I can't imagine. Come on, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's, so, yeah. that's when family. Bring you that extra strength you need. Yeah. You know you got it. Yeah, yeah, I had it, but I've been out here too long by myself, so it was fading away. But it came right back. Everything happened for a reason, bro. Came right back, right back up. I gotta tell you, I'm really proud of you, though. Uh, yeah. um, 
when I, I felt honored to have you on my Instagram. When I see, <laughs> when I see that shit come by. Hey man, it's plenty. It's gonna, we're gonna keep doing shit. No, but you gotta understand, cause um, <laughs> I got a super huge head. Yeah. I'm like, yo, fuck all this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But certain people make me feel humble. Yeah, that's you know the energy I mean? out there. So you just gotta have that energy. I'm that type of person who's got positive energy. Bro. Right, I'm not right. with that negative stuff. Right. By getting a little sense of negativity, I'm off. No I'm, doubt. I'm not, I'm not around. Man. So where you from? Man? I'm from St. Louis, but been born, I was raised here. I'm lost north of Greensboro. Shout out to the lost north. Yeah. Lost. Ooh, we. Stayed in Northwinds. That's where I came from. Northwinds. I stayed in Building S. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to stay in Building S. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody made it work yeah, through Northwinds. Yeah, yeah, that was the first place I ever moved to coming from Missouri. We all swim in that pool. Yeah. We all yeah. use that laundry mat. Yeah. 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 So it is. It is. Oh, yeah. So. Food line. From Missouri, down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm from Missouri, though, being here in Greensboro. Bro. I think I came here when I was like eight. I was seven. Work. Been here ever since. But I just got back from Cali though. I was living out of Cali for almost two years. There's a lot of y'all though, right? Yeah, yeah. Seven of us. Yeah. We a collective Fang Life. Yeah. Fang Life. Yeah. I remember they used to have the studio in the room inside the closet with all the lights. You could <laughs> yeah. turn the lights off and there'd be the graffiti on the wall. Yeah, he remembered that. You feel that like you're in, the, in the basement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. To, uh, Tooch was like the head honcho in there. He stayed yeah. on the computer, lining yeah. people up. You first, you out of there, you next. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His brother, his little brother used to run in and out with his little bars. Like, yo, I, I just wrote this. I'm like, oh, nah, nah, do it again, do it again. <laughs> yeah, right now, I'm yeah. like, why, yo? They got, they got, Still you know what I'm saying? Doing it, bro. They got Still something doing going here. Been yeah. doing it ever since, nonstop. Any big shows you did in the past, like, year or two? Um, yeah, I actually just... Last month, and I don't know if y'all know him, but Denzel Curry, he actually came out to Charlotte to do a show, and he let Fang be like opening up for him. Denzel Curry. Yeah, he 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 big, he big right now. I heard of him. Yeah, he big right now. He wanted the homies, so he brought us out when he came out here. I think he on tour right now. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, Denzel Curry was on Ross last album too, right? I, yeah, I think he so. Was, yeah, he was. He was. How was Ross. that? Yeah, I mean, how was that experience? Oh yeah, bro. It was crazy. You know, he he big. He bringing out a show. They all white people who do mosh pits. They all punching each other in the crowd. That's the type of crowd he bring out, bro. And they just, yo, it's amazing. We jump in the, in the crowd. Crazy. Like, yeah, they do, the of, the do, crowd. <laughs> do they still do crazy drugs? Like, before they do yeah. this shit? Yeah. We be out there. Well, I, I, I'm 100%. We be out there. <laughs> we, be on, we be there and lit. I'm so old, like, all you gotta do is give me one blunt and half a cup See, of something. And I'm like, I'm just like you, y'all. It's certain shows, though, that you gotta be cool. Like, can't be like Yeah, that. you can't be on nothing. It's, a, it's professional. But in some shows, they it's there to fuck up. Like, Damn. whole thing you about to get told down. Damn. Niggas throwing drinks, niggas hanging from the ceiling. Damn. See, them type of shows, you, you go in there and just whatever. And what's the age? Age range. Maybe like, like 18, like uh, 18 and up. 18 and yeah, up. Yeah, you gotta be 18 and up because crazy stuff. Be, and they be having drinks in there, so yeah, 18 and up. You gotta, that's the age. Wow. But them, it'd be a lot of young people there at them, at them crowds, bro, at the joints. Like with Denzel and my homie JK, they shows be lit. Like, they shows be like that. And I'm trying yeah. to get up to that level too, though. But I know my, I'm not gonna bring that type of fan base out. What kind of fan base do you attract? To streets. The hood. Real niggas, yeah. The hood, the streets, the niggas out here really getting it. Yeah. So you, instead of them wilding out inside the club, your shooting's gonna take place in the parking lot. Yeah, probably. On the way to the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> way to the car. That's yeah. what. And hip hop shit. That's mostly where, where the shootings take place. Yeah, you know, right. If you if you got a shooting in the club, that's that's a nigga just he you know he just. He just but bro, I don't want to bring no shootings to my to my events, man. I hope. Well, that shit happens. Yeah, man. I hope anything that I got under my name, I don't want none of that going on. It, it happens, shit. Even in radio, we done had a few incidents. <laughs> See, man. This shit happens. Yeah, it's just people, bro. They be hating. Anybody swagger jacking? What, the team? Yeah. I feel like the whole world, bro. <laughs> swagger jacking. Like, swagger jacking. I feel like, bro, me, SBM, me alone, bro. Is the reason why a lot of young cats out here doing music. I believe you. It's me. Yeah, I 1,000% believe you. Like, 
the homie, the homie C Pitt, that's the homie. Like we, we he was there from the beginning too. Like he started when we started. Ain't that but still, still again, I feel like we all just like got the inspiration from SBN. Everybody, like even everybody in my clique, thing like we all it was SBN that started. I remember that. Serious about yeah, money. Serious about money. We still serious rocking about to money. Yeah, you that? already know. <laughs> yeah, yeah man, serious about money. I got the bank, bro. Man, we still on. Serious that. about money is more like a, a, a family. Yeah, and it's a record label now. They, they, the reason that a lot of stuff going on, they, it's not in the front light, but SBM is the reason why a lot of stuff going on. We don't, we don't really talk about it, but they the reason. SBM. That's, that's family up. too, though. That's what's up. You yeah. spent some time out there in Cali. How was that? Bruh, everything you imagine. This is a movie. <laughs> you can walk down the street. I'm walking down the street. Will Smith jogging right by me. I'm like, what? Will Smith. I'm at the grocery store. The girl, I don't know her name. But Will she, Smith yeah, jogging. Yeah, I'm, Will I'm Smith. hiking. I'm hiking. I'm just hiking with my shorty up the hill. Will Smith with his ear just running, jogging right by. I'm like, Damn, that's Will Smith, bro. Everybody, bro. I done met. I think I, I would have ran right by him and started reciting some of his movie lines. Hey, see, I'm you, the type of you person. You probably would have did the Fresh Prince thing or something. No, <laughs> man, I imagine. But, but, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, like, no. But listen, though, man, I'm a lot of, I'm, I done met a lot of, like, celebrities out there. But the way, I, the way I'm set up, bro, I'm like, I don't be on that fan shit. Yo, let me get a pic. Yo, listen to my track. I like to build relationships with them. Like when I was out there, I went to the club on Hollywood. It was So So's death on the 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. DJ E. Sud was DJing. Wow. And he know and he know me. He he recognized me. I was in the crowd. He looking. He looking. And he pointed like, "Yo, come over here." I'm like, "Oh shit, word." So when you go behind a DJ booth, some stairs to go upstairs, and it's a balcony, VIP. I went up there, bro. I'm running into everybody. First person I seen was DeBrat. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Hugging her. I'm hugging Tiny. I was in a smoking session with Waka, Bow Wow, Nelly, and uh, DeBrat. Like, bro, I'm bumping shoulders with Bow Wow smoking. Like, nigga, you stupid. <laughs> like, what the fuck y'all doing? Because I was up there, with, what happened, because I was up there with the homies. We up there rolling up, rolling up backwards and shit. And Waka came through, like, y'all got an extra backwood? We're like, yeah, yeah, nigga, here, here you go. And next thing you know, everybody coming up to Walker to say what's up, but he's standing in our circle. So Bow Wow coming up to say what's up to Walker, and he dapping up Walker and dapping up all of us that's in the circle. Like, what's up, what's up with y'all? Bruh, it was a night I can never forget, bruh. And I, and, bruh, I ain't take no pictures. All right, so when you, when you see, when you experience shit like that and you go through shit like that, isn't it, uh, ironic and also a blessing to know that you can get there just off your verbal accomplishments. Yeah, just bro. for rapping. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Me being in that situation, the sky's the limit. Just by me getting there, I know anything can be, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm, bro, I swear I'm there, not even asking for no pictures. I'm a regular person, and I feel like that's why they was more comfortable being around me. Cause they talking to me, Walker talking about his life, talking about how broke he is, but the nigga got on the fucking bust down Roly brick squad chain, looking fresh as fuck, well, talking about, bro, I'm really broke, bro, I don't really got nothing. I'm like, man, this shut up. Cause niggas be, but he, or what he might not. He might not be like that. He, I mean, he might just spend some real shit, but it was a time I couldn't, I'll never forget, bro. Jeezy. Walking Lil Webby, I'm dapping up all these Yeah, I partied with all those guys too, and Jeezy's a small ass motherfucker. Yeah, he is, dude. bro. Jeezy's short as fuck. Jeezy's a little ass type. I tight. was like, what the fuck? Snowman, you the size of a snowman. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was short as hell. I was like, yo, but, bro. And, and celebrities aren't all they cracked up to be. Bro, they're regular people, bro. And I respect, bro. When I go around celebrities, I act like a celebrity. I mean, I don't really act like a celebrity. I just act like a human being. And that's what they all expect from people that come up to them. Just somebody who's regular. Like, that's not all in their face. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I built, I built a relationship with them by doing that. Like, yeah, you ain't fan out. Yeah, and yeah. when I see them again, they going to see my face and be like, you look familiar, bro. I'm like, was at that party that time. Remember? They're like, oh, yeah. See, building a relationship, I feel like it's more important. 
because you never know. You're going to run into them again. In my line of work, I know for a fact I'm going to run into them again. Right, right. Yeah. Right. And always always keep that same yeah. positive energy. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what they remember the most. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what it is. What it's all about. Yeah. Everybody keep telling me, why you ain't taking it? I'll tell the story of mine. A lot of people don't believe me. All right, let's talk about this. Let's get personal now. Yeah. So, so to keep it real with the fans out here at Piff Radio, are you a player or one ladies man? I used to be a player, but I'm, I'm not a player. Man. I just crossed the line. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped playing. Player. I stopped playing in high school. Once I once I finished high school, it's all I've been wanting to be a one ladies man. So okay. I, my high school days where I was, I was out there. everywhere. Yeah, but. I'm done with that, bro. I'm not too pressed. You can press me? Yeah, yeah, man. You yeah, bro. I'm not too pressed with pussy, bro. Like, that shit is powerful, and I know what pussy can do, bro, but I'm more powerful. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Smoking yeah. like a king. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God. Here we go. I ain't got let go. Who was here last week talking about, not last week, but the week before talking about how a post, a, a, it's, it's crazy no. how a young man could talk more wiser than an yeah. older dude. <laughs> it ain't cool. It's just crazy. Cause I ain't been through that. I feel like I've been through that shit already, bro. I, I got three kids, bro. Two baby mamas, bro. Two baby mamas, three yeah, kids. Three kids. Yeah. I'm not. I'm just I, I, I cannot say I would have thought of you. I mean, of course you're gonna have kids. With me. Yeah. I just remember, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this little group yeah. of uh, guys, and I was like, you know, y'all gotta grow up sometimes. Yeah. Bro. I got three kids, man. Leave your music. I don't take it as fiction or. Y'all trying yeah. to say something to make somebody feel this is real shit. Yeah, yeah, bro, real shit. Been doing it. My brothers, bro. I, I rap about my brothers, bro. I've seen it. I've been around the dog. I've seen dollars. I've seen the girls' cars. I've been through all that shit. So it is something I can put in my raps now. Right, you you validated. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, some yeah, shit yeah, I can yeah, put yeah. in my raps. Speaking now. of that, your brother invited me and my wife out to dinner tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah I heard y'all gonna yeah. be at the spot with yeah. us. Mom, Deuce gonna be cooking some good. Yeah, I gotta bring us some flowers or something. Yeah. Still out of Walmart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Them big bouquets they be having in the front. I just yeah. walk in and walk out. Yeah. We got show down? Yeah. Oh, work. Uh, he, he get it. He get it. Shit. We so what what, what uh, kind of music you listen to? I'm really listening to everything. My favorite song right now is from Willow Smith, Female Energy. Willow? Willow Smith. My favorite song right now is Willow Smith. We gotta, we gotta play that. We gotta see what that sound like. It's, Did you send some tracks to us? Yeah, I sent yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like eight tracks. You got them? Yeah, I got them. We can get but, it. Um, we'll get them that song, bro, is like, I, when I first heard it, I was, in, I was in Los Angeles on Malibu, riding down Malibu. Mm -hmm. And I'm in a Jeep. I'm in a Jeep with the doors and shit on. And this white girl driving. And I'm the only dude in there. It's, it's all girls in there. I'm the only dude. They playing this, bro. And I'm the son. My genre of what, of what I create. Let me open that for me. It's a track. That's all I mean. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, I love track. Coming from a situation you're around and, and stuff like that, it's easy to go left. You know what I mean? Bro, a lot of people do. Like, but I'm just so lucky enough and blessed, bro. Like, God be giving me chances, bro. Right. I have been done some dumb shit, but I ain't end up like my brothers. I ain't never been to prison. All my brothers been to prison. I'm the only one I ain't never been. And I feel like that's God, bro. I be in situations. I be in situations that would lead me to prison, but somehow I just it don't happen. It just don't so, happen, bro. So I can take a seat. What's up with you, bro? Show down. Show down right there. What's happening? What's happening? What else going on, man? So, 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 at the end of the day, when you go through all these shits, when you go through all these experiment experiences and emotions, that'll help you develop new music, mm -hmm. new sound. Yeah. And, 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 is that like trend setting, or are you following your own pattern you already set, or or how do you how do you label that? Really, it's true. I will label this just that's like me growing. Like when I hear new stuff, it's like a new me coming. I don't. It's not like biting, but I get motivated from hearing like that Willow Smith song. Like now, I want to do something like that. Like my really though, my music bro is versatile. I I do all type of stuff. I ain't seeing y'all everything though, but I be on that pop. And I produce the beats too. So. You gotta let, so, yeah, so, that's so, another thing too. I forgot to say. Yeah, he's a great producer as well. Yeah. Alright, so look, do you uh you listen to Post Malone? Yeah. Why? I like Post Malone. Cause he, I I tell you this, 
I listen to Post Malone, but his the way his music sound, it just sound on point. Like oh yeah, yeah. it he, does. Like it just the mixing it's, and everything is just sound on point. I mean, remind me on his break, music is on, is on point. Just yeah. remind me on break to introduce you to the real Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. I, you talking about a dude with the with the guitar, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The real yeah, that's, that's why I said. Named, I think that's why he named himself Postman. Yeah, and that, the real reason for the song "Saucy." But that's why I said whoever mm -hmm. makes his music does a great job. Are you talking I, about production? I'm talking about production. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Who's doing your production too? Me. I do my mixing. And you a mixing. real live dude that could say started from the bottom. Now we here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, bro. From day one, it was been all me. No doubt. I even tried going to studio. It was like. Underground, rich, and chop house, and work with them, right? but I'm just not, I don't hear it like how I want to hear it. I, and I be trying to work with them, bro, but I don't get that sound that I can do. You know what you're looking yeah. for. Mm -hmm. And I be feeling like, bro, it's a waste, bro. I don't need to be over there. Mm -hmm. I got the studio in my crib. I know how to mix and master. I know how to engineer. I know how to shoot videos. I know how to edit videos. I know how to put up a website. Why not just do that by myself? Do it get tiring? Very time, man. I do some days, some days where I'm like, I wish I had my own engineer, so I don't gotta do that. Train somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I can train you. Yeah. Get you a little student. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. I get a little intern. Oh, man. Somebody outside, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, so take a break, we'll give you some Kool Aid with some ice real quick, and come back and we'll do this. <laughs> yeah. But, every, but since, since I started, bro, I think I started rapping in like 2009 started taking it serious in 2009. And I've been about 10 years ago. Myself, yeah. So yeah. when you started meeting celebrities into that? I just started getting meeting celebrities like last year. That's when I was in LA. Yeah, yeah. Living in LA, been around in LA. I didn't really, think you were coming back. I wasn't. I came to visit, but just ended up staying. I, Cause I spent my rent money when I was there. So okay. I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna stay. <laughs> I, 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 look, when, when, when I heard he left, I was like, He's gone. Yeah, I was like, fuck it. So you think L.A. was the move? Yes, yeah. bro. I met, I done built a lot of relationships. I, I don't know if y'all know about this blog called Elevator. They have a big uh, blog site. I met them. They cool with me. Anything I drop going on, they going to they gonna post it for me. That trip, that time me been there was helping. I yeah, built a lot of relationships. so different than Greensboro. I'll be trying to stress that to people. It's so different. Mm -hmm. It's just, bro, it's lovely. L.A. crazy too, though. You don't want to go out there bullshitting. Like, the hardest nigga out here go out there and get their head on, thinking, thinking shit sweet. My homie, who was out there, he just went to his aunt's stand company. But one of the homies pulled up. Well, he was cool with one of the homies out there. So his homie was like, bro, I can only give you an hour window to be here. They ain't, they ain't messing around. I know this yeah. is a true fact. Yeah, this is a true fact. Yeah, bro. My yeah, homie was out there. And he was like, I can only give you an hour. He went to go see his uh, aunt. They give you like a visitor's pass. Yeah. Like, I, I, yo, and he, he stayed over an hour, bro. He stayed over an hour. He came out. They took everything from him. His clothes, shoes. He was out there icy like me, like juried up and stuff. Took everything from him. Shoes, jewelry, all that. Because he was in confidence. So they ain't, it, you don't want to just go. Like, you'll be dumb to go to. If you don't know nobody and you're not, you don't got a pass, why even go there? Like, I ain't even go to Compton. I ain't never been to Compton. I ain't go because like, why? It's really the slums out there. I'll probably go through there and be like, which one of you motherfuckers <laughs> want to go to Pelican Bay? <laughs> <laughs> they don't be playing out there, though. Yo, yo yeah, training them. <laughs> yeah. They which don't one be playing. But LA is sweet, man. It's, it's love, bro. It's love. Coming to the beach? Yeah. And the people. It's love. Everybody showing love, bro. Everybody know. Everybody trying to do the same thing. But. That, that's that's same here. Everybody trying to do the same thing here, but it's crabs in a bucket here. They ain't gonna help them. But out there in LA, if you got something in hand, they gonna hand it back. So it just got to, you just helping each other out. That's all oh, you say. You say the Greensboro is like crabs in a bucket. Everybody, everybody yeah, they just yeah, down. they pulling each other down. They ain't gonna fuck with you. They ain't gonna do all that. But out there, bro, you tell them and show them what you got going on. And they show you. They linking. They linking with you. Anything they do, anything that you can. Like, they down. They down for it. LA is way sweet, bro. But this is still home. You, you know? planning on going back? Yeah, I am. I am. I'm, I'm going to be going there pretty soon. 
not on the uh, music shit though, on some all other shit. But I, some living, yeah. some living, yeah, yeah, I feel you. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be back and forth. Back I got my back. son, so I'm busty as hell. Yeah, my mm-hmm. son. Like you got mm-hmm. the same head. <laughs> that's, that's the last one I've done. <laughs> the same year. That's right. I said that too, but nah, I want my kid. Nah, I'm five. I can't even. I'm, I'm done with that, man. You got five? No, I want five. Oh, you want five? My mom had five. I got four. Yeah. It's you something about. Yeah. Do I want another? Yeah. Being want a dad. Uh, yeah. I mean. Stop it's a little tricky situation, <laughs> but right now me and my wife trying to adopt. Oh, uh, yeah, we tried to. Try yeah. get a check. It is, yeah. No, nah, we ain't trying to get a check. Try to get a check. No, nah, really we ain't trying to get a check because we actually know the um, the little girl though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, y'all stepping in, super parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No doubt. Yo, can y'all adopt me? <laughs> family, man. <laughs> 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 I mean, no, nah, that shit ain't funny. You know what I'm saying? That it's just, um, thing. thank you, baby. It's just hard, though. I mean, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot you gotta go through for that. Where you at? Okay. It's a lot you gotta go through for that, man. But I gotta just make sure I'm good. Yeah. yeah. I gotta make sure me and everything I, I got already. Oh, man, I've, I've seen.